I'm Mikebein. It's my nickname. In fact, my name is Maria Luisa Bein. I'm 86 years old and my profession was a singer, classical singer. My career started really as a kid. It's funny, of course, five years old, but then it started my, my love for singing. And uh, it went like this on and on and on. I was always singing in the choir and then they picked me out for doing the solo. It was for fun that I went to a, um, a situation that they could test you if they could use you in musicals. And then they gave me a role, a big role. So in fact, I didn't want that because I was a classical singer, but still I needed the money. So I started. So this was the musical uh, part. But still I always, if possible, I still uh, worked as a classical singer. It's, it's a life of jealousy, hard work, and not really always happiness. I love the piano dearly. Maybe I even like more, now more to play the piano than singing. It's a sort of, um, something like an arm and a leg, you know? Something you really could miss. I always think every music, which is really good music, it's inspiring me. But if you ask me the, which composer, well, one of the biggest is Bach. Music is everything. It brings you... For me, music is very strange because music is abstract. Because you hear it and you get a lot of emotions, but you can't, you can't pick it up. I mean, it's the most abstract art that I know. I was a kid, of course. I was seven and a half years old. I understood. I was afraid that is something wrong. So I went down. So I remember the stairs. I almost was falling around the stairs. And I came into the, the sleeping room of my parents and I just saw my mother looking at the airplanes. They were starting bombing Rotterdam. I remember that my father was um, as, lo as much as he, he had a false passport, of course, because you have to be, otherwise they give you him. He made himself older than he really was. I went often to my grandparents, they were living, maybe that's my love for Amsterdam too. My grandparents were living in Amsterdam and my both, my parents were original um, from Amsterdam. So often I went from Rotterdam to Amsterdam. Slowly, yeah, we get less and less food and the last part of the five years, it was five years, huh? we didn't have anything to eat. The word happy is a very difficult word. I don't think happiness is always there or happiness is not always there. I think you constantly have to make the best out of the situation and if you don't as, as, um, as a happy thing, <laughs> that you can feel happy, that's something extra. But you, most of the time, I think you have to make it yourself, out of the situation in what you are living. As soon as I knew I couldn't do it anymore, I started to do more piano playing, I started to do traveling, more I started to have a different view on people yeah and how important it was to speak to my friends because if you have a classical voice and you have to take care for it it takes a lot of isolation in fact you know it's so you're always busy it isolates you a little bit when I'm walking outside with my camera and there's just whatever is there, you know, nature or a person or I love it. 
I love, I don't know why, what's so fascinating, but it fascinates me. It fascinates me. How is it possible that you get the whole world in a small picture? Your whole world, you are seeing at that moment. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think it's, yeah, fantastic. If you really want to become a good musician, you have to work hard. And if you have half a talent or something, it's, it's, it's hard to succeed. Yeah. Are you able to bear that you have to work hard? There's a lot of jealousy because it's not so easy as it, as it shows. Yeah. It shows fantastic, but it's, it's, it's just not so nice. Yeah.